Hey guys, welcome to Thursday Thoughts. A uh, bit of a debrief from Maui to Molokai. Um, I did a little one on YouTube with Josh and while well, we're driving back, but had a few uh, other questions that have come through about the race and had a bit of time to digest it and how, reflect on it. And yeah, it was a super fun race. Um, I used a foil that we're about to release from Code. I think we've spoken about it on our website. It's the seven seventy R. It's it's more of a like a racing series, higher aspect, and I uh, was super happy with how it went. Paddled up from the get go with Kyle, like I said, um, went sort of straighter at the start, and then cut pretty hard towards the island. Um, a lot of people are asking about what other people were using. Kyle looked like he was using a Phantom, maybe something a bit smaller than what I was using because he couldn't pump to the finish. Um, Andrew Gibbon, who was probably the fastest. Um, was using a 110 lift, the 110X. Kane was using his own foil. Um, and oh, Edo was using a, one of the new art pros from Axis that actually I had a hand in uh, helping develop. Which, but he was seriously moving. Um, he fell off He fell off at 1.2. The, the boys that were out wide in the bigger bumps off Molokai were, they were moving fast. I just spoke to Kane just now as well, and he was saying that uh, the uh the the speeds that they were doing out wide were good and he said that through the uh, crossing the channel he wasn't even pumping he said it was really good conditions and, and i felt the same and um, we were all moving pretty quick um kane and i actually were next to each other for a while sharing a few bumps i think he filmed me for a bit um but what else and then, oh so other people to talk about so oscar he did pretty well from all accounts too um, I did a run with him, Malika, earlier in the week, and he was moving really fast. Um, and he had a really bad start, just race practice, and he's fixed up that. He, he won't do that again. Um, Jeffrey was surprisingly, he must have had a shocker. I spoke to him after, and he would have said, I just didn't have a good race. Um, Aiden Nichols had a good a good race, another guy from Armstrong. Dave Klamer looks like he had a good race. Um, but yeah, a few people sort of came down at the end. It was a bit glassy. Um, what else do we want to talk about? I had a mate of mine, Matt Nottage, who was going to do it, but he hurt his back like two days before the race. So he, he's doing Molokai to Oahu, so he's out. Um, he was out for that, but he's we're just literally he's just driven up the driveway. We're about to go for a Palale run. I was chatting to Kane. He was giving me the rundown on how where to launch from and all that sort of stuff. So I better run. But um, the winds are blowing, as you can kind of see behind me, and Paddle Amur this weekend. Um, for me, Matt Nottage, Kai, I think we'll be doing it. And then Ben and Marcus and Kane and a bunch of crew are heading over to Hood River where it looks like they've got wind for Saturday, but not much in the lead up. So um, interesting times. Also worth noting is Finn Spencer crushed the wing race, averaged like 40 Ks an hour, um, super fast. So, oh, and also on the distance, so... I did about 43.5 Ks and Kane did about 44.2 Ks. So I did 800 meters less or 800 meters less than Kane. Um, but you can see that extra distance further out wide paid dividends for him. So um, that's the recap for now. Still testing a bunch of stuff, but wind's blowing. Lift just arrived. We're out there. Thanks, guys. Any questions, let me know.